For those of us with Ryzen CPUs, this might be an exciting benchmark to look at by Michael from the Pharonix team. Has given us benchmarks to look at with modest computers, both an Intel Core i7 10th generation CPU and a Ryzen 7 4800U with Ubuntu 20.04 versus 22.04. These results are exciting, especially for me since I'm using a Ryzen 7 series CPU as well. And the hardware of choice is an OnLogic computer, which is modest, more than likely including onboard graphics or an integrated graphics card. So a lot of us have these mid-tier systems as well. So let's see what kind of results we've gotten out of here. So the tests are broken down in here by system. We have a Ryzen 7 4800U system and the Core i7 10700T series system. We have both Ubuntu 20.04 and Ubuntu 22.04 being tested. And the more interesting one is actually the Ryzen. So we're going to go through those. This is a, the processor we already talked about. It has eight cores, 16 threads. The motherboard is an AS Rock 4x4, 4000. The chipset is an AMD Renault root complex. Memory is 16 gigs. The storage space is 512. The graphics is integrated with AMD Renault 512 megabytes of virtual graphics memory. The audio doesn't matter too much networking, the operating system we already talked about. So the kernel versions are 5.13 versus 5.15. And let's get to the results. But before we do, are you ready to start learning about Linux today? Check out my Linux checklist and cheat sheet at learn.savvynick.com. There's a link below. All the results are in this table here, which are fine using the Pharonix test suite, but it's a little hard to read. So we're going to go down to the graphs. Basically in this section, you have all your tests on the left-hand side, the times, or the scores in each of the columns for each of the two systems and the two different versions of Ubuntu installed on them. If we go down a little bit, here is where the interesting stuff actually comes in. First off, it tells you what test was ran, what the test is all about, which two operating systems. So from now on, we know Ubuntu 20.04 as this reddish orange color, and then Ubuntu 22.04 as the purple color. For this test, it's in frames per second and more is better. So you notice right off the bat that on the Ryzen 7 4800U with Ubuntu 22.04, we do see a significant improvement, right around 7% improvement, which is pretty nice. I mean, if you're getting more frames per second, a 7% improvement on your frames per second is amazing when considering all you did was upgrade your operating system. So is it worth it to upgrade to the new 22.04, especially if you're on 20.04? Well, the answer is quite possibly and maybe especially with what type of system you're running. Now, what you'll notice below though, is on the Core i7, there's actually a decrease in the frames per second. And this probably has to do with how the kernel has been treating AMD and specifically the Ryzen series with some great improvements. Let's keep looking at the tests. Exonatic also boasts another win for Ubuntu 22.04 on the Ryzen 7. The Core i7 again has lost some frames per second. Again, more is better. We'll keep going down. These are a couple other tests from Exonatic. We'll skip over that to Paraview. Paraview is about the same. This one, I'm not so convinced that it's any better. Might have just been a little bit of a fluke there. Frames per second on this one, so more is better. But you do know a drop in the Core i7. A few of the newer Paraview tests do start showing a significant result. Quantlib here, which is an open source library framework around quantitative finance for modeling measured in mega flops, more is better. So significantly better here on the Ryzen 7, better on the core i7 as well. The high performance conjugate gradient is about the same across the two systems as well as the two operating systems. WebP image encoding has gone down on both Ubuntu 22.04 systems on the core i7. The WebP image encode has improved on Ubuntu 22.04 significantly on the two systems. The encode time has improved on both systems as over on the Ubuntu 22.04 side. Notice that the encode time seconds fewer is better. We're looking at the ones that are less in time. SIMD JSON hasn't really seen much of a change, except it got worse on the core i7. The capo in milliseconds, the fewer, the better. Quite a significant improvement on the Ryzen 7 4800U. You're probably starting to notice quite a pattern here, and that's the Ryzen series CPU as far as these benchmarks go has received quite an improvement by upgrading to a newer kernel with Ubuntu 22.04, as probably most of us would have expected. But some of these results are quite fascinating. It's amazing what open source does when optimizing 
systems through the kernel. Renaissance here, again, milliseconds, fewer is better, has done better with the Ryzen 7. Z standard compression has also seen an improvement in speed. With compression level three set, this is in megabytes per second, more is better. So we notice that we get an improvement here on the Ryzen 7 as well as the Core i7. And let's go through these final few a little quicker here. We get an improvement on the AOM encoding for AV1. We also get an improvement on the SVT encoding for AV1. Intel Open Image Denoise, again, another improvement. 7-zip compression, again, an improvement. LibAVIF, an improvement. Time Go Dot Game Engine Compilation, a significant improvement on both systems. Timed M Player Compilation, another improvement. 1DNN, about a second improvement on the Ryzen 7. OS Prey Studio, a wash for both systems. Time Wasmer Compilation, a win on both. SQL Lightspeed Test, a win on both. Redis, again, a win on both. Stress NG, which is always an interesting one to see because it's a stress tool developed by one of the members of Canonical, which is the company that offers us Ubuntu itself. Stress NG ran on both systems, a significant improvement on both the Ryzen and the Intel processors, processor-based systems. When Blender was ran, again, a win for the Ryzen 7 system. And finally, let's talk about the average of all test results. This is probably the most important graph that we can look at at the end of the day with all tests taken into consideration. Does it make sense to upgrade to Ubuntu 22.04? Well, with the test results in, we're looking for a mean or average that is better and that is signified by a larger number. So for the Ryzen 7 4800U, and this could probably be extrapolated to most Ryzen 7 systems, we see an improvement from 13.14 to 14.28. When it comes to the Core i7 from Intel, there is an improvement, but definitely not as significant. You could probably stay with Ubuntu 20.04 and not see much improvement at all with only a 0.10 difference in the geometric mean versus a 1.14 difference in the Ryzen 7. That's about an eight to 10% improvement on the Ryzen 7 and not much on that Core i7 system. So what do you think about these results? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm quite excited to go over to 2204 with some of my systems, especially since I'm using Ryzen 7 based CPUs. Now mine's not a mobile processor, but I've been following amazing development on the AMD Ryzen side of things in the kernel. And I'm excited to reap some of those benefits by upgrading my operating system. Thanks to Pharonix and Michael for doing this. I love going through these results. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video. Also, make sure to subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.